Hi. So I'm gonna try to draw this. Everyone knows how to draw a rectangle. Anyone can draw it, any age. It's just, all you have to do is do it. Hi. First of all, I'm really loving this new mic by Rode, this wireless mic. It's so awesome. It's a little bit difficult because I have to now attach the mic to my phone and then to my person, but I think it's worth it for the consistent sound quality when I walk close and far and it just stays consistent. So I love that. It's just, it's good, it's better and that's what I've been looking for. I should take these off because they create a glare and I have nothing to read. What I'm here today to talk about is art. I love art. I love to create and a lot of my friends and family have been saying, why don't you do an art video? <sighs> okay, okay, calm down. Um, it's because I don't have a ton of confidence in the art area, but you know what? I don't think it really matters because maybe if you see that I can do things, you'll know you can do things. These last 10 days have been really awesome because I have been sitting down each morning with RJ, our daughter, and we do a little drawing from Lisa Congdon. And we went on Creative Bug, it's a website, and we do her, it's a 31 day drawing a day. And it's so much fun. And the reason I chose Lisa Congdon is, oops, something fell out of my journal, is she is my favorite contemporary artist. I love her because she's whimsical, she's colorful. She often uses encouraging words in her images, which is right up my alley. And I think it's awesome that we can be, in, we can be inspired by other people. And you don't have to be original in your art. You can glean off of others. Even Lisa Congdon herself has a favorite artist. Her name is Mary Blair. And Mary Blair, if you are familiar with Disneyland, maybe even Disney World has it. I've never been there, but it's a small world. Well, Mary Blair designed that beautiful, colorful, building the outside facade and it's gorgeous and it calls to me it's one of my favorite rides really it is even now at age 53 i love it's a small world so everyone i think should be inspired by somebody and it is intimidating coming up with your own original art but what's also is exciting is just trying just giving it a try so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to show you my last 10 days of what i've made with lisa congdon and the reason also I chose Lisa Congdon is when I look at her art, I think, I think I can do that. It's simple line drawings. It's not realistic. It's not 3D. And it is my style. I'm a whimsical, happy, joyful person. And that's my kind of drawing. So again, that's why I love her. So many ideas. I know I mention her a lot. She's one of my good friends, Gina. And literally she has so many ideas. I can't even keep up with it. She's like, I, I, I don't even know how she actually sleeps at night because all the ideas must just be going <laughs> Anyway, last night, she texted me last night to give me an idea. And the idea was, see, I'm gonna set this down. I was talking about naming my house plants in another video. And I was using this 1970s house plants book and I was going off on how I thought the illustrations were, I was loving them. And she texted me and said, I have an idea. Why don't you take an illustration from that 1970s plant book you like and put your own spin on it? So I was glancing through here today and I don't know if you can see it, but I thought this one looks like a fun one to try and draw. So today I'm gonna try to draw that with you and we'll see how it turns out. You know, it looks simple, but you never know. So this is the first 10 days I started off and she had us draw three trees and I added to it but here's the trees and then I colored it all hers are in black and white and then I we did teacups and I added to it and I journaled I like to use my art journals as also word journals so we did teacup then we did chairs and that was a lot of fun but look at this I used a pin that bled through that wasn't a good idea but anyway, I love these pens. I just wish the paper was thicker so it didn't bleed through. Then we did leaf, 
and we did rose. I hope you can see these. We did sneakers. This one cracked me up, this little fat boy here. I'm like, dude, what, what are you thinking? That, what is that? So I tried again and I did better. See, you just keep trying, you just keep trying again and things get better. And then she did pitcher and I love cats. Oh my goodness, should you really know this? We have five and here's the cat thing. And then bird, bird was another one. This cracked me up. Look at this, look at this bird. It is, it is actually terrible. It looks like some sort of like a sea eel or something with legs. I, so just, it doesn't matter. Just try, just try. Today was mushroom, huge fan of the mushroom. So it's been fun. I just want to encourage you. If you think you have any little inkling of thinking you might want to draw, give it a go. Give it a go. You don't have to share it. It just feels good to sit down and draw. It's one of my favorite things to do because I have a lot of anxiety and when I'm drawing, I'm not thinking anxious thoughts about bad things. I'm just thinking about my drawing and how to accomplish my drawing. So for me, it's like therapy and you don't have to be good at it. I want to just say that over and over and over again. I'm not good at it, you don't have to be good at it. I know not everyone is an artist. Some people like to do puzzles, some people like to read. I love a good reader. Whatever it is to take your mind off of the bad things in the world, because there's sadly a lot of bad things in the world. So I don't like to focus on it. I don't like to watch the news. I don't live under a rock entirely, but it's just important to keep your mind positive in my world. Let's sit down and draw and see what happens. Anyway, I found this, it fell out of my book, my art book, and it says, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Albert Einstein, I like to leave myself notes and the family notes. So I write little notes and I hide them around the house and then we find them and I find some of my own notes and I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. So that's an idea. If you wanna leave notes for you and your family around the house, it's always fun to discover them these Sharpie pens. They're really nice to draw with. I am burning up hot. and Am I always saying I'm hot or what? So I'm gonna try to draw this because it's super cute and it looks kind of simple but I don't really know if it is. So I also, just so you know, right before I quit my job, I went to an art workshop that was about three days long someone local I had to physically go there i was super amped up meaning i had so much anxiety and nerves going i cried on my way there uh, i'm like what am i doing this is intimidating but i did it i went to this little art journal class and we did we actually built our own art journal let me show you that just so you can see it the artist's name is katherine england and i went to her house and i had an opportunity to do this art class and we made this we actually this is wood she taught us how to put this together and you know and just taught us how to draw these are exercises that are mindless exercises like this one i closed my eyes and it's supposed to be a self-portrait of me this is a like you draw like with both hands like sym symmetrical yeah symmetrical and then you know i just colored it in and da 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 and then she had us draw hands. Oh gosh, how do I show this? Hands are really hard. And basically, the cool thing about that is you looked at your own hand and you pretended like an ant was crawling on your hand and you followed the ant. And you barely look at the paper, you just watch the ant crawl on your hand and you try to make hands. That's really hard, but I tried. Then she had us, I pulled off my shoe. She's like, take off your shoe, draw your shoe. She threw out a few things that she had in a box for us to draw. That's the best way to draw. It's just to draw things you have in the house. Like, like you could draw this little vase or this. So many ideas, I'm always plugging her. She made me this. I could draw this, right? Look at that little magic in there. She had us look at a magazine and draw what we saw in the magazine. This was a model and not pick up your pen. This was fun. She told us to draw eyes. She taught us how to draw eyes. So I made this just like a full on eye page. This was an ink blot page, ink blot page. And she's like, make something out of it. Of course, mine's upside down because that's how it ended up. But I saw a dog in all the ink blogs. So I did that. This is things around my house. This is my house when we were deciding to paint it a different color. We painted it black, iron ore. 
and I love it and we have a green door and I'm so happy we did it we went to a concert this is me and my friend this is an actual photograph that I tried to recreate blah 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 I know this can't be all that interesting but I'm just showing you what my art journal looks like it can look like whatever you want basically here is good old Mel Robbins. I adore her, and so I tried to draw her. I literally was listening to her podcast and drawing her, and the teeth here totally whacked out, and then a dear soul said, try to draw, like, you." she tried to explain, and then I drew her gums and blah, 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 and then I realized she has no pupils, but that's okay. <laughs> that really is okay. And more of just my little stuff that I'd like to draw and then i did the thing oh this is like who knows what i'm going to do with this page i love reality tv this is from a show 90 day fiance it's nicole my friend sonia's grandmother and she shared her chicken recipe with me and i made the, this a recipe page and then i did a thing where i drew an art card every day and i looked up the artist and i found i just just learned about them and i would draw an artist on that day while i also learned about that artist so, and this is, this used to be my favorite artist when I was a teenager, Salvador Dali. So that was what I did, and it was really difficult and challenging to, to, to break out of my comfort zone. This was before I quit my job, and I was just on my way to trying to do new things. Okay, this is the scary part, because, because, because what I was taught by Catherine England was, not to use pencils just go straight in with an ink pen which means guess what you're gonna make mistakes and you know what you're gonna love it you're gonna love the mistakes you're making and that is how you really go after it how am i gonna approach this i mean it seems like a simple shape so just try to create that shape And I'm telling you, it doesn't have to look exactly like the picture. And it can even be wobbly like that because my pen just went out. Oh boy, oh boy. I think I want to make the head a little bit taller. And then it looks like it kind of goes straight across here. And then she comes down and then let's draw her other neck and then her shoulder and we're gonna come down. <gasps> Ooh, I did it. I got the basic shape. I got the basic shape. Now up here, there's like a little line. Oh, but she has plants coming over. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's do the nose. Because the nose, look at that is a rectangle. Everyone knows how to draw a rectangle. We learned that in kindergarten. A rectangle. But then there's some shading coming off. So, and it's kind of like a little triangle. If you look, it's a tiny triangle. So I'm just even gonna make a tiny triangle. And look, it's even wobbly. Who cares? And then you draw the little dashes in there. Yeah. And then she's got some shading here. And I'll draw some little dashes there. Okay, I think the nose is looking pretty darn good, actually. And then the mouth. Look at it. So simple. So simple. I'm saying that, but you know, let's see what happens. Here we go. And then and then it's kind of like another little, like that, I don't know. And then a little, and let's do these eyes. Hmm. It's kind of like that shape. Oh, I'm realizing they're kind of spread far apart. They were closer to the nose. And then th this artist does what I like to do. I don't know why I like to do this, but I like to kind of draw like an eyelid on there when I do my people and then you got a big round that's anyone can do a circle a big round thing there big round thing there and then they have some even more like a little circle here and a little circle here it's coming together it is coming along now down here it looks like a little design like a little like that and a little like that, and a little like that, and then a little stem that comes down. Oh my gosh, guys, I've never done this in my life where I've drawn in front of someone like this, ever. 
ever, ever. Oh, and it's very intimidating. It's very intimidating, but I'm just trying my best over here. Okay, we'll do one more. One more, and then we're gonna have this little hand. But you know what, look at this. It's not even got a lot of detail, it's just lines. It's basically just lines, so what the heck. And come down, it's still holding a thing. And then it's like a little line here. And what is this shape? It's like, hmm, kind of like that. And then goes out, and then like this again. And then how many lines? One, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five. So let's see. Kind of like wraps around the one, two, three, Oh my gosh, please, can I count? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the hand, okay? And then this has a little bit of like shading in there. Oh goodness, there's another hand, another little hand coming down. It's, you know what? I'm not even gonna draw leaves here because it's not, I'm gonna draw the other hand already. That's what, you can do what you want, I'm telling you. So there's kind of like a line here. Oh, that was way off, way off, but that's all right. One, two, three, and then they did kind of draw a little pinky here, a teeny one. And then, boy, that's a really weird hand. That's all right. That's all right, guys. I'm trying my best, I'm trying my best. Uh, oh, okay. Um, more, and then another leaf. And then come down again, and another leaf. And then we'll just, we'll just finish it off. And it looks like they try to do like a double line, kind of. Like there's like some depth in the leaves like that. Even on this side, little double line. And then there's like a double line here. There's a double line there. Here. Here. And this leaf has some little depth. And this leaf. And then this is kind of like up here. And then they have like a little more detail in here. It's taking somewhat of a shape. Okay, so now the head. <laughs> It looks like it kind of like does this and then there's like a shading under there and then this side of the the pot is shaded but should we try to draw should we try to draw some of these leaves of the world okay this is where I'm gonna get really crazy okay because I have no idea what I'm doing So there's some leaves like kind of like, kind of falling in there. And then it looks like there's like some star flowers and star flowers and a little drooping flower. Look at these aren't even real shapes. They're just just, you know, I'm doing my best. Like I said, I'm gonna put this a little thicker. Thanks, Gina, for this idea. Because <laughs> it's, you know, it's kind of fun, actually. It is fun. Do a little swoobly swoobly, like here. And these have some little flowers coming off that's kind of like that and some more leaves and more leaves and more flowers. I like kind of shading that in and they don't even really have to look like flowers. They can just look like whatever, you know? 
just whatever's. Uh, I'm just doing a bunch of leaves. And there's like some, I'm just gonna do that. And then there's a line. And this is kind of like shaded in, but maybe make it looks like there's a leaf that falls in there before I shade it all in. And maybe over here, yeah, before I shade it all in, let's get some leaves over here. Another big stem, just and lots of leaves. You guys, I'm not even really, I'm not trying my best. That doesn't sound good, but literally I'm not thinking about anything else except for what I'm doing and what I'm trying to tell you, which is very liberating. I'm telling you, it feels really good to just let yourself be free and just create things, you know? Create things that make you happy, that get you out of your out of the negative into the positive and like this weekend when it rained we got some unexpected rain I did a puzzle and that's also something I really love because I'm not thinking about anything except for finding my puzzle pieces and that was fun I'm just drawing all these leaves This is in real time too, by the way, like I'm not editing this. This is like in real time. So I'm going to do some shading here. Just all it is is like lines, just like little, little dashes. And then you go the other way, little dashes, little dashes, some shading. And if I was doing this just on my own and not sharing it, I would be going much I'd be going much slower and more deliberate and really taking more time. But since this is trying to just show you that anyone can draw, that's what I'm trying to, 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 to establish right here. Anyone can do this and it feels really good. Okay, I did it. I basically drew this with my own style but used this as a guide. And that is how to get out of your head and draw a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this. All right, I did it. I'm just as surprised as you that I did this. I've never done this before ever where I have drawn and, and let you let anyone watch me draw. It's usually something I do in super private. Even my own family doesn't watch me draw. I just like to be alone when I draw. So this was really intimidating, but I'm not too ashamed of what came out. I mean, the hands are wonky and this and that, but it looks like something. And I think, um, you know, that's all that matters. And I can fine tune this. I can put some shadowing under here and I can create color and I can add some things. But anyway, thank you, Gina, so many ideas for the idea. And also thank you, friends and family, for encouraging me to draw on here and let everyone know that anyone can draw at any age. It's just, all you have to do is do it. So until next time, peace, love, and keep going.